Good guys, welcome to another flip video session. Today we're going to continue looking at visibility rules. Let's get into it. So what are divisibility rules? What's the point? So divisible by means being able to divide one number by another number with the answer being a whole number. The whole number is the key there, guys. So a number is divisible by another number if the answer is a whole number. So is 14 divisible by 7? Yes, because... 14 divided by 7 equals 2. Is 15 divisible by 7? No, it's not, because the answer is 2.5. 2.5 has fractional parts, which means it is not a whole number. Moving on. These rules let you test if a number is divisible by another number without having to do the entire division calculation. So it's actually a great skill to have. So let's check it out. Divisible by 6. Is a number divisible by 6? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's learn the rule. So can a number be divided by 6? Well, yes, it can be. Let's work it out. So the rule is, if the number is even, and if it is also divisible by 3. So you have to work out if a number is divisible by 3 as well. And we learned that in the last video. So to work that out, what you do is you add the digits in that number together. And if that number is divisible by 3, and the entire number is an even number, then that number is divisible by 6. Tricky, I know, but let's check out an example. It was 114 divisible by 6. First of all, 114 is an even number. The last digit is a 4, which is an even number, so it meets the first criteria. It's even. But is it divisible by 3? To work that out, let's sum the digits of 114 together. So 1 plus 1 plus 4 equals 6, and 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 114 is divisible by 3, and it is an even number. So 114 can be divided by 6, with the answer being a whole number. Let's check out 308. Is 308 an even number? Yes, it is. But 3 plus 0 plus 8 equals 11. So 11 divided by 3 does not give us a whole number. So 308 is not divisible by 6. The rule for number 8. Is a number divisible by 8? Let's work it out. The rule, a number is divisible by 8 if the number formed by the last three digit is divisible by 8. Oh, this one might actually take some time to do, guys. So here we've got 109,816. We look at the last three digits and pretend they form a number. So the last three digits in the first example is 816. 816 divided by 8 is what? Is 102. That is a whole number. So 109,816 is divisible by 8. Is 216,302 divisible by 8? Look at the last three digits. 302, 302 divided by 8 does not give us a whole number. It gives us 37 and 3 quarters, which is not a whole number. So 216,302 is not divisible by 8. Is a number divisible by 9? Let's check out the rule. A number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 9. So let's check this out. We've got to add all the digits and the numbers together and then divide that by 9. So 1 plus 6 plus 2 plus 9 equals 18. 18 divided by 9 is 2, which is a whole number. So 1,629 is divided or divisible by 9. Is 2,013 divisible by 9? Let's sum the digits of that number together. So 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 3 equals 6. 6 divided by 9 would not give us a whole number. It will give us a fractional part, so it is not divisible by 9. Is a number divisible by 10? Now this is easy. This is awesome. A number is divisible by 10. That is, the answer is a whole number. So a number is divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. Oh, that's an easy one to end on. So 220, is that divisible by 10? Yes, it is. Is 221 
No, it's not because this last digit is not a zero. All right, guys. Like I said in the last post, you might need to watch this a few times to get your head around it. It's a little bit tricky, but persevere and remember to check out the poster that's up in the classroom. Cheers, guys.